Alright, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, we're back. I accepted a quest from the guy at the dock. That weird kid wants us to collect some stuff. I'll do that. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Can I turn oh, that in already? To make some, if you want something, spit it out. Oh, okay. I can turn in the quest I accepted. All the right materials in the right quantities? <laughs> Didn't think you'd come through. Whoa! Did you manage to find everything already? Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Now you can push on with your work. Did you thank your new supplier yet? No. Why? I'm giving a reward, aren't I? I should think so. But it never hurts to say thanks, you know. Look, you're the one who asked for the help in the first place. <sighs> All right, if I have to. <sighs> I just want to say, stop being so weird. Oi, wait a minute. <sighs> Sorry. I bet you're wondering why you bothered, aren't you? <laughs> He's always been like that, though. But he's been through a lot, so don't think too badly of him. Of course, that's no excuse for being crabby. I'll have a word with him later. Okay. <clears throat> Handed that in. Um, I'm just gonna run around and accept some quests, right? <laughs> By the way, you could also accept timber gathering. Which means, which right? requires Lisa? to obtain 15 timber <laughs> materials. <laughs> that is easy. From fishermen? It wasn't like yeah, this when yeah. Nagara Kuri were um, working. Maxed out. Right? It was a breeze to get up to the top back then. In its most basic sense, a karakuri is a device powered by celestial thread. By this definition, the karakuri employed by artisans and craftsmen as well as the karakuri wielded by hunters are in essence the same, though they may differ significantly in form. Oh. That was a logbook. Ah, you hunted a tsunobashiri for us, did you? Those spine gliders are tough. We owe you one. Arigato. You're <laughs> clearly well able to do your job then. But how are you holding up? No strange sensations? Excellent. That's good to hear. You must tell me at once if you notice anything out of the ordinary. Having a karakuri implanted in your body may have consequences you're not expecting. The seed is a very old karakuri, the crystallization of wisdom amassed by the ancient hunters. It will make a deep physiological and mental connection with you. It allows its host to conjure and control karakuri, to influence the key that flows through the entire natural world, in fact. Until now, I honestly believed it was a fairy tale. I certainly never imagined that I'd see it with my own eyes. Side effects? Well, there are certainly pitfalls. Firstly, I don't believe you can manipulate karakuri wherever and whenever you like. You've experienced that already, of course. You haven't been able to make use of karakuri here in Minato, for example, have you? Secondly, although the seed is said to contain the ingredients for a plethora of karakuri, it would appear you can't conjure them all whenever you like. I imagine there has to be some sort of trigger to stimulate the requisite memory. Given that it's a hunter's device, it seems reasonable to assume that those triggers will occur in the course of hunting activities. And thirdly, I dare say this is the most pertinent of the pitfalls from your perspective. The seed is deeply embedded in your heart. So deeply that one can no longer function without the other. What I'm trying to say is that if that tiny karakuri were to break, you would die. Now, it's not especially fragile, so there's no need to panic, but still, I would treat it with due care. Ah, <sighs> I might have expected you would react like that. And perhaps you're right. Let's hope we never find out. Ah, uh, yes, uh, before you go, there's one last thing. There's a small task I'd like you to undertake. Or rather, the town elders have decided it should be done. It may even result in the first pitfall that I mentioned before being rendered moot. I think it would be quicker to show you rather than trying to explain further. Would you accompany me to the spirit aisle? 
We can leave whenever you're ready. And Natsume will be coming along too. Okay. <clears throat> so essentially, so a trip to the island. To damage your heart, we die. Boat trip. Great. Unavoidable. I suppose. Um. Let's see. Oh, is there... sorry. I'm talking to myself. Is there any other? As soon quest? as you're ready, we'll oh, set off together. There is one more. Actually, there is one where you. Wait, why is this? Uh... You can actually fast travel to the specific parts on the city. <laughs> well, by the way, we have new uh, stuff in the fort. Yeah, that's you. I'll check. But uh, did you hear? You can fast travel to wherever you need to go. In the city? Yeah. Oh. By just clicking on the... Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> we're gonna have to go back to the, uh... Oh, wait, here it is. Here it is, the drunk. You've been taking a few boat... Hard at work as usual? You're no stranger to the spirit isle, are you? Hmm. Takes me back, thinking about that place. I hunted kimono there not long after I first came to Minato. This body of mine was less creaky back then. I was escorting a gathering party, if I remember rightly. All of a sudden, there was a scream from the bay. A giant bird had tried to take a child, and the father was beside himself. But luckily for him, the gallant Daidoji Ujishige wasn't far away. I pulled a child from the kimono's clutches and dispatched the beast in one fell swoop. Are you watching the same cutscenes? Yeah. Oi, you think I'm bragging? <laughs> Believe me, I was a force to be reckoned with in my younger years. But if you need proof, go and see for yourself. There's bound to be more of them, ready to make off with another victim, give him half a chance. Oh, but if you are heading over there, don't take it lightly. That kimono was almost more than I could handle. Almost. I couldn't say if you'll be able to defeat or not. But if you emerge victorious, I'll have to give you credit where credit's due. And if you don't, well... We'll laugh about it over a cup of sake. I'm looking forward to it either way. <laughs> you know, going over there doesn't actually... is not actually proof or evidence that he killed some one of them in one swoop. <clears throat> it's just evidence that there exists kimono over there, which we know. Right, so there's something uh, about this bear over here. Oh! Give me a second. If you walk up to the training bear, you can actually add some stats to it. To uh, change how the training is. Oh! Okay. Huh. Can you mute the microphone for a sec? Mute? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I had to cough. Yeah. You're mute. But I don't think you would have caught with by my mic. <laughs> I think you would. Let me just okay. get the timer for this. Around nine minutes. Could you remember that? So I checked the recording. Make sure it didn't get caught. Uh, nine minutes? Yeah, 9.30ish. Okay. I'll take a drink. Sip. Okay. So if you actually walk, if you teleport to the bear and train with it, you can change the way the training dummy behaves. So you can actually have full gauge and stuff like that. So it makes it easier. Alright. <clears throat> we have done, I mean, we have gathered all the quests. So now we have. Let's check out Forge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
should be some no new stuff in there. Oh right, we also have new talismans. I've developed you have, I don't. You didn't use get anything? Sacred land of the no. Hunters. There might be one. Let me see. But uh, what means reeling? Uh, one sec, can you mute the microphone again? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Another uh, check at 11. And reeling, I think, is after you are staggered. You're trying to recover. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. <laughs> okay, so I, I got a couple of attack talismans. Oh, surprise attack. What is this? <clears throat> Boosts attack if you're not noticed by kimono. Oh, I can actually get the poison thing. <clears throat> Why can't I remove? Can I be of service in the Can't alter my Oh there we go. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna put poison on. There's a 1% chance I can poison, I think. Can I be of service in any? You can't afford to neglect the equipment that right. affords you protection, can you? I'm looking at the new gear. Let's see. One is the Ocean Wave Hachimaki. Oh, with the Ocean Wave set. <clears throat> what are we looking at here? Uh, skills. Stealth Arch. Okay. Decrease the chance of being noticed and targeted by kimono. <clears throat> I guess that's during the fight, or...? Yeah... I don't know if that's gosh. useful, to be honest. Recovery boost... Presence of mind, that's a new one, on the up next armor. Inhibit stamina loss only, when only a single life thread remains. Savage... <clears throat> Ooh, I think I'm making the Roaming Bard set. It has Savage. That's damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for it, I think. You? You were looking at uh, uh, Forge. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Armor? Yeah, Roaming roaming Bard. The arm. Arm. But it's just plus one to attack. <laughs> yeah, but it's better than the nothing that I have. Yeah, I'm, I'm making it because for the collection either way. So. We have to kill more spine gliders if we're gonna... No, dread claw. Oh, well, I'm making it. Making it. <clears throat> Having that bird set would be nice though. The wings <laughs> is pretty cool. I'm thinking of making the helmet to Roaming in Bart Mango for recovery boost. Oh, I don't have it, but I have the boots. But I'm not uh, going for it. I I'm making the. You have boots? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, then I have uh, I'm to missing. The boots. Okay, I don't because I'm missing ingredient. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, have you. Have I, made the, I made the gloves. Okay. Hmm? What? Okay, yeah, me too. Keeping everything else, I think. Um. Maybe the helmet on the bird. Yeah. Actually, do you know what we should do? Actually, first let, let's just check out the weapons. Stronger mm. and sharper. Nope. That's no what you're looking for, I imagine. Uh, can I zoom? Yes, very slowly. Still don't have pointed scales to get to uh, the poison. On the, the poison bird attack, I mean poison sword, on the left side. 
boost the power, uh, boost the amount of release gauge increases when attacking. Oh, I haven't done that. Oops, I forgot I haven't done the release on my sword. All right, um, leave the sword as it is for now. I think. <laughs> Are you upgrading your weapon? No, because I'm missing Just materials. Yeah, Which one are we talking about? I need side, to yeah. grind some of that for that booster <clears throat> yeah. for another Corona. Can I be of service? I actually need pointed scales. Oh, uh, anyways, we have uh, made a tiny upgrade. Uh, wanna go? Wanna yep. do the? We can do a quest first, which is to kill the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see me circling yeah. around you? It's common. You always do these kind of weird things. Uh, all right. What I wanted to check was in the uh, the uh, library for the animals to see what elements these various animals are. You know. Let's see. Cyclopedia. Okay, so that cute uh, squirrel spinning thing. Um, <clears throat> it's water. Uh, softness. Actually, the body is the softest part. Fire and leaf is effective against it. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. When it gets angry, the tail is uh, a good spot. All right, the chicken. The chicken is wind, actually. Fire is good, so I'm gonna put down those uh, torches. So you just keep remembering to grab the buff from the torch. Mhm. Mm if it works the way I think it does. Yeah, nothing changes between the. Stages. Right, so the parts are the talons, the chest, the head. Is that the chest? Yeah, some sort of amber on his chest and then the tail. That's the, that's the part. The grit dog, that's what the skunk is called. <laughs> it's earth element. Um... Weak to wind, actually. Wind and leaf. And we don't know. We actually can need to break its face next time we fight it because we didn't do it, so we don't know what drops from it. Which which kimono? The skunk. Ah, oh, okay. We uh, we didn't break the. Uh... Okay, let's see. <clears throat> let's eat some food. Actually, after we find it, we can eat some food. Where you go? Where is this little bastard? It's not on the map. Ah, uh, all right. Well, then we have to look. Oh, for something it. showed up. Where? Where? Is that one? Where? It's a chicken. No. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a chicken. Okay. Right. Let's go. <clears throat> Wait, we discovered it. Where? Oh, there it is. Is the one marked red claw? Yeah. Okay, but so you have to go to. Get over here, chicken. We did not have enough Kentucky Fried Chicken. More. Actually, I've never to be had. Fair, you never. Yeah, yeah exactly. Never the one had KFC. <laughs> that means basically deep fried chicken in a crunchy, <coughs> spicy uh, butter. Ooh, spicy, spicy butter. Yeah. That sounds nice. But I don't eat chicken skin, so. Mm. I mean, they do make, like, just chicken breasts, you know? Oh. <laughs> maybe. Maybe one day when we travel, we go to somewhere there is a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Do they have maybe it? Japan? Do they have it in Japan? Or? Actually, I don't know. I know they have McDonald's with sh shrimp burgers. <laughs> Actually, the shrimp burger might be good, because everything else, the fries and the regular burgers are horrible in Japan. <laughs> well, we're, we're I don't think they've bombed. Some context though, to the people. We're going to Japan next year. <clears throat> and 
And I'm not saying the food in Japan is bad, that's not it. So if you're Japanese, don't be offended. I'm just saying McDonald's specifically is horrible. It's probably some of the worst I've had in the world. Yeah, <laughs> sushi you have perfect and best. Sushi's good. Sushi's good. Uh, burger is delicious. The beef they use is so good. It's absolutely delicious. I'm looking forward to the burger, to be honest. The burger here feels so dry in comparison. This way? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chicken. Chicken! Okay, let's pop some food to make it fast. <clears throat> oh no, it's up here. Uh, do you think you can, like, lure it down here? Give me a second. I don't. Uh, up here it gets all framey. Let me eat some food. Wow, this guy eats like an animal. <laughs> yeah. Basically. <laughs> now I notice I put on those. Go you two. Look, look that you have those kind of wings attached to your hands to. <laughs> To I imitate the chicken wings. I don't have. You know the gloves you're wearing. If you oh, move around, oh. you'll see them. Kind. Of <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> okay, could you shoot the thing and bring it down? I can't shoot from here. I have to come closer. <clears throat> oh, I'm too far. I see. Okay, he's on me. Or she. Ah! <laughs> okay, here it comes. Uh, if you're wondering, you didn't watch one of the previous episodes, that place up there, open fields, it causes. Oh, it's going back. No, I cannot lure it here. Okay, let's fight it down here then. That's fine. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Down here is fine. Uh, tail? Or what? Tail, beef, chest, rock. <laughs> Tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it landed on his butt! If it's if it's gonna keep going up there, it's a waste of time. But uh, it's a quest we have to do it, and I can't go up there because the game just goes into this five frames PowerPoint garbage when I stand out out in the open. <laughs> ah, already down to thirty frames. <laughs> I tried to get my... Where did it go? It went back up. Up? Where up? To the right. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. go the other way. <laughs> yeah, the game just breaks when I step out into those fields. Your way was kind of way longer. Yeah, yeah, but I, I can't, I can't go up there. Yeah. Actually, something happened to my friends. Ah, oh, never mind. It's kind of recovery.
Okay, it's back. <laughs> oh, I messed up too. Nice homing butt, right? <laughs> Sometimes the game just doesn't give me the buff. Oh, oh I hear. Yeah, I, a, need the I hear a picking thing here. Just remember to check. Kukana? There's also something else here. Uh, you're aiming at Tay, right? Yeah, we can sure. There's multiple things to aim at. Because I need Corona, which is on the head, I suppose? Uh, don't say Corona. Uh, sorry. Crown. But that's the head and the item uh, is doesn't matter. Name. YouTube, uh, they might still be sensitive on the topic, so they have probably have voice recognition. Something broke. There's some hard sense. I think on they <laughs> Oh, they can also go trees. Yeah. It's charging. Oh, it's kind of weird because it said it was wind and. Oh. I had a prompt. Oh yeah, you got it. Oh, now oh, I, I got, got it. I forgot okay. to actually check my new character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice part, sir. I hope it's the ones that I need. <laughs> no, me getting them won't help you out. <laughs> Running away? Alright, before okay. it runs, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff in there. And before we run out, there's some stuff in there. Okay. I wonder why it's this horse here. <coughs> Do you hear something? <coughs> no. Do you? Oh, there's a squirrel up here. Mm -hmm. That's for a different day. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I heard a. Oh, right here. here he is. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
Alright, just need healing stuff also. Yeah, same. So kill this chicken. Kentucky chicken. Just a Kentucky chicken? That's Kentucky right. Fried chicken, <laughs> yeah. This one just I mean, gets really to good. be chicken. <laughs> Coming? Oh, it's the same place again. I don't know if you can go there. Okay, let me see if I can just jump over the side here. Should I loot it? Yeah, please. I'll look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so it's less. Look work. at the wall. The wall is amazing. <laughs> oh. By the way, there is a well right here. Give it a lick. <laughs> then you can go for the rest. It's just like rainbows. <laughs> wow. That one fell flat. It's okay, you can try again. Oh, oh, it's gonna land? No? Yeah. <laughs> Face area, I guess. Something's happening. Oh no. Oh, that hurt me a lot. No, my God, oh, come wow. me again. It's like this, he has this three combo thing. It's two, actually. Damn, that's a... Really? Because at first stun me and then... Oh, I have uh, an achievement for reviving. Uh, by the way, look at this. Oh. The head is here. I think the crown might have dropped. Oh, it. yeah. Nice. <laughs> the charging, right? Yeah, actually, we should use the firework for this one. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Let's go for a second. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, never mind. It is three. I guess it's three later this week. Ah, I should have been attacking its claws. I just pop my my blade. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you wanna do it? Do it. Do okay, it. Okay. Let me see what happens if I do it with the final. Oh man. Ah, nothing happens. I mean, from different angles. No, with the uh, extended blade out. Ah. Now we got two crowns. Nice. Raiders talisman. Got the Bartrian Dragon Egg. Malacrian? Something? Nice. Good job. You too. Good job. Jup, 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 jup. By the way, in case people don't know, jup, jup is a reference from Guardian of the Galaxy. <laughs> Which means friend. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> According to. What's the green guy's name? Drax? Uh, Drax, yeah.
Okay, I guess we can buy some upgrades. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Ah, uh, I forgot how much I hate boats. Mm. Are you all right, Sensei? You did say you'd explain what we're doing here when we'd arrive. Wow, so impatient. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll be fine. So. There is an old ruin on the island here. Wait, where are you? Where the natural flow of key has stagnated. I need you to clear yeah. the blockage. That's it, right? Yeah, I'm the uh, I I think you said you tried it before, didn't you? In the Nanohana field along the old blossom trail. I'd like you to do the same thing here. I learned that a particular material is required for the job. And through meticulous research, I've managed to ascertain which kimono to hunt to obtain it. It's a kimono called Jigokuzaru, or Lava Back. That's a new one. As far as we know, it's lived on this island since ancient times. Apparently, Minato's hunters have never been a match for it. Your confidence is reassuring, but I don't want you taking any unnecessary risks. If it seems too much for you, Return to Minato and reconsider your approach. I hear that the lava back lives on the north side, but there are other kimono on the island too. Perhaps hunting some of those first would be a good plan. Then I can make you stronger equipment with the materials. Let's hope this really does help Minato flourish again. Sensei? Sorry, I was muttering to myself. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. I've taken the liberty of adding a rather special karakuri to your gauntlet. I have a matching one, and together they'll allow us to communicate when we're too far away to speak to each other. It'll all become clear once you use it. We'll contact you in a little while, so don't be surprised if you suddenly hear our voices. Okay. So, <clears throat> if this lava thing is fire... By the way, come take the then fish. Water. Yeah, uh, we need armor that is resistant to fire. I fall. Oh. So I have too much stuff on me. The thing is, our armor, at least most of the armor we had from the previous place, is very weak to fire. Mm. By the way, can you make forge here? Forge? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Uh. Okay, it's boats. Don't worry about Sensei. No. Let's see. What are you making? No, I'm just checking the upgrades if I can do some more. Actually, that chicken upgrade might not be too bad. On the sword. Right now it's 100 plus 24. Um, final blow is kind of good. What is surpri oh, surprise attack is boost attacks if you're not noticed by Kimono. That's so... I don't know, is that even good? Do you know what that... Third stat on the weapon is? What is? The third stat on the weapon. Uh, um, probably chance for a critical strike. Yes. You yes. Sure you think that's the case? Yeah, because the same icon is for the critical stuff. Critical master. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's what I. Oh, I'm making this chicken weapon then. Holy bananas. I think I made myself too. But I need more chicken. <laughs> you need more chicken. chicken. <laughs> Let's see. Chicken. Uh, I lose final blow, which is actually kind of good, I think. In, 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 in exchange with surprise attack, which I don't think is very good, but... We'll try. Actually, not now. But anyways, I'll make it. As a big damage boost.
Might have to make a new sword that specializes for po in poison damage, just to try it. Anyways, that sword is quite the upgrade. I'll take it. Oh, I was supposed to showcase some weapons, right. In a, I'll, I'll try to remember to showcase uh, the big ass sword in the next one. Radachi. What am I wearing right now? That thing. The roaming bard helmet has some good fire resistance. Quite a bit, actually. So does the bird helmet, though, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll go for the bird helmet. Okay. Or maybe not. Both are quite bad against the skunk. I'll think about it. You make something? Uh, the sword? <clears throat> I upgraded to the chicken sword. Yes, me too. Chicken bow. <laughs> oh wow, have you seen the, the skunk helmet? On the demon side, the camera side? Provides a fixed chance of reducing injury. That's a good one. Wait, what? The skunk helmet, right? You mean Destiny? Yeah, I was just thinking about the looks, to be honest. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I don't have helmet on anyway, so <laughs> that's very really modern for me. Yeah, but we could actually make it. We just need to make the helmet. We just need to k hunt. I can't. The, we just need to hunt the. You have iron nuggets? Uh, do I? Let me see. I don't. You don't need iron nuggets for the helmet? The demon version of the skunk helmet? No, I mean the regular, the not modified yet. Oh, grit dog iron nugget? That probably drops from the skunk, I have one. Yeah, you're right. I don't have anything. I must uh, have missed it. Well, we'll read up on this and make a plan. Uh, for now, we end, take a break, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I will. Uh... Oh no, I made the squirrel ball. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll, fig oh we'll figure out what happened here. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for watching. My frames are dropping, anyways. Time to restart. So, have a nice day. And bye bye.